Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Becky and we're gonna do project number one. See, I stapled a number one onto my little bag when I separated them into all five projects. But here I was just now looking at this and I was thinking, this is a double page, but you know what? I think I'm just gonna make it two single pages because as you can see, they can both stand alone right? And this one says deck the halls on it. And over here, the little icon says trimming the tree. And we are going to be getting a new tree this year. And I kind of think I might, maybe I want to use this one for me. So, um, it says trim the tree, not trimming the tree. So I think I'm actually going to do these as two single layouts. So we're just going to do a one part today. So I know we have to use this as the background and I'm going to have to use another piece that one I think we'll see it appears to be that one but that one looks like it's too small so maybe I jacked it up again <laughs> okay excuse me it says use the clover dot paper for the base page check Attach 1A, which is this, but it actually really does look a lot smaller than what I would think it would be. So let me see if I messed it up. No, it should be four and a quarter by seven. So yeah, that probably is right. Okay, it looks right. So it says attach 1A and it goes down one and three fourths of an inch. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my ruler up here. I'm just gonna put one line of tape and then I'll go back and glue the edges down. But I wanna make sure that I'm going down one and a quarter. Did it say one and a quarter? No, one and three quarters. Okay. I was measuring one and three quarters and I was um, saying one and a quarter. <laughs> oh, Becky, you're so adorable. Okay. And then it says, apparently I didn't get that exactly, exactly straight. That's okay. I don't care. And then it says, attach background scalloped half circle. Now, between page one and page two, there are several. And I surmised that it's gonna be this one. And it's gonna go like this. Or maybe like this. I'm not sure. So I'm not actually gonna really attach it yet. Um, because I'm not 100% sure. This just does not look, one, two, three, four, five, six, it's not quite seven. What did it? What did I say it was supposed to be? Becky done messed it up. Becky done messed it up. Becky done messed it up. Seven. Yeah, it's about seven. Okay. Why is my scallop so big? Did I choose the wrong scallop? I don't even know. And then it says attach 1B, 1C, and 1D. Okay. So one of them is definitely going to be this. Right? And see, that just doesn't look right. See, when they cut it, it specifically says 1A. Right? Specifically says 1A. This is 1A. And 1A says it's only four and a quarter by seven. But this is clearly more than seven inches because there's about maybe an inch and a half at the top and, th and um, a quarter of an inch at the bottom. Oh, we're going to add another piece down there. Okay, it's okay. I'll calm down. I'll cool my heels. Okay, so this is going... <laughs> See, this is what happens when you get ahead of yourself. So this is going to go like right about here somewhere. 
And then we're going to need um, one of these. It's going to go on here like that. And then, what was 1D? This is 1D. Sweet. Yes. That makes more sense now, doesn't it, Becky? Yes, it sure do. It sure do. So, this, I'm not sure exactly how this goes, because it shows it poking out of, you know what, I bet this is supposed to be this bigger one, like that. Like that, goes like that. And that goes like that. And this goes like that. Okay. So then this piece goes up five eighths of an inch. So this is not necessarily the way it said to do it, but the way it's going to be, dude. Five eighths of an inch. Look at that here. Let me mark it with a pencil. Right about here ish. Okay. So. That's going to be going right here. Please don't be totally crooked. And this again, not right. Did I pull the wrong paper out? Because it's seven inches. Oh, jeez, Becky. 1D. Guys, seriously, this is my life. I cannot believe I'm messing this up. Two by seven. This is six. this is two by seven. I put this down wrong. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. It's okay. I'll fix it. I put this down so fast I didn't even know what I was doing. What did I say this one was? One and three quarters of an inch. They did it all jacked up and wrong. She sure did. Crazy heifer. Okay. It's gonna go right here. All right. This makes more sense. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. That makes more sense. And then this. goes somewhere and then this this probably goes right right here and this probably goes like right here like that and then we attach the photo only we are not using a photo we are using the photo placement guide. So then the photo goes like that. Right? Like that. All right, let's go ahead and stick this down. Oh yeah, this one, I did not take it out very delicately and I kind of ripped it right there. Because I was doing man hands with it. You know, like I do, all rough and stuff. Okay. Then, 
I don't want to use too much adhesive just in case I screw up again, which is not out of the realm of possibility. Okay. So then we're going to put this one right here. Like that. This one, if I mess it up, it's just going to have to be messed up. I'm going to put this one down right there. Like so. Please don't mess up. That. And then this is going to go like this underneath it. And again, I will put more glue down, but I want to do this before I um, completely jack it up. I want to make sure that I'm not completely jacking it up. Because see, today is not the first day I've met myself, so I know this is not wanting to go flush. It's like, what did I do to it? Did I make it crooked? I don't want to flush up to that. Okay. Then we have this. That we're just going to put like this. Ish. I don't think that's right. Is that right? It doesn't look like there's enough at the top. Okay. Then it says attach the title, which the title is Death the Halls. Now, I'm going to have to pop all of these suckers out to put them down. And then it says attach tag in white glitter leaf die cuts behind photo. Okay, so let's find the tag. There's a tag, it goes behind the photo. I can cut that off because I don't know why they gave me such a big tag. And then there's this one. And then I need the white glitter die cuts. Okay, let me put these down. I did not pull out the white glitter leaf die cuts though so let me go pull those out I will put these down as well okay now when I was taking out the letters deck the halls I mean close to my heart's gonna have to do something about this I love close to my heart don't get me wrong you guys know I do but I ripped some of the letters so I just went ahead and pulled out my own letters they are an American Crafts brand and they're just flat black stickers. You can pick them up at Michael's or at Hobby Lobby. And it's it's just a plain old normal font. Um, so I just pulled these out. This lowercase, this in capital. And put deck the holes down with these stickers. Because those letters, I ripped one and it's... No. Um, I'm not spending that much time on a layout, right? No. Okay. So I did not put these down yet. So right here, there's going to be a ornament, and they're layered like this. Now, you can probably put 3D foam between them and stuff if you want to do that. I am not. Right here, I'm just going to poke out the dot it's in the center. So you can tell it's ornament, which doesn't matter because we're going to stick something over that anyway. So I have that. And then this is going to go on top of it. So it's going to be layered up. This will go on top of it. And I'm just using this art glitter glue to hold it down. This. Although it's not wanting to come out. I'm having a bad scrappy day. What the heck? It's Friday, man. It is scrapbook Friday. Woo, woo, woo. Yes, it is. Woo, woo, woo. I talked to my friend Kathy. I ended up having 
to mute my phone because we were talking back and forth. And I said, I'll get back to you when I'm done doing this real time. And then I muted it. So I don't know if she had anything else to say. <laughs> she cracks me up. Caddy's hilarious. Okay. So then this is going to go right like that. And so this sits right about here. And this leaf thing will come out like that. See, it kind of covers the S. I'm not 100% in love with that. But then on top of that goes the flower. This flower sits on it like this. Like that. So in the picture, the... um. This leaf isn't covering that all up, but I don't. I just don't like that. I just don't like that it covers up the S, so I'm going to kind of stick it underneath like that. This can still go down here, and this can still go on top of it, like so, like that. I can go ahead and commit to that part. This goes right here. This goes on top of it. Okay. That's okay. Um, I'm going to stick the leaf underneath the side though, because I don't, I just don't like that S covered up. I didn't, I don't like that aspect of it. So I'm going to stick it under here like so. And then for this, I'm going to use double sided tape and I'm only going to put one side down because I don't want to get it on here because I am going to put a photo there. So I will have to pull it up anyway. And then in the middle of this, there is a, an, or a, no, not a, an, an enamel dot. And I'm guessing it's a big one, I don't know. They put an enamel dot right there. Bam, like so. Over here, they have some stickers that are um, from here and again it's okay I'm gonna go ahead and stick these down on there and when I go and put my photo down I will just cut off I'm gonna I'm gonna put this on here like they have it in the picture pretty much exactly they have those two lot layered up and then they have this long one over them like this And this sticks over to the side. It sticks out a little bit like that. And in the picture, this is right here. And I am going to go ahead and stick it down on here. Because what I'm going to do is I could just cut this off and I'll just be thicker. I don't necessarily want this to be stuck down. Because I don't want to cut the hole in the center of that. Okay, so then what we have over here is we have one of these. And one of these, they go like that. But then there's an ornament coming off of here. Now with these ornaments, you layer three of them up. One, two, three. And you kind of bend them. They're scored in the center. So you kind of bend them like that. You can bend them like that. So we're gonna attach them together like so the bottom one I'm not going to bend we're going to attach them together and then put them on the page um, let's see large medium and medium we don't have a small I guess large medium and small okay so this goes on the very top. I'm guessing. In the picture it doesn't really, it looks like they're all the same length, but that's not what I have out here. I don't have that. So I'm guessing they're not all in the same length. I mean, I guess they could be, because there's this one and this one. 
and this one look all the same. And these two. Um, What size do I want to use? I don't know what size it says to use. It doesn't really say. It doesn't really say what size to use. My alphas are coming up. I might have to add a little extra adhesive under them. <clears throat> okay, I guess we're going to use these ones. Um, what do I got? What do I got? Is that the same size? Nope. I don't have another big one. Hmm. So should I do it the way I had it before with a small, medium, and large? I'm going to do it that way. Um, it doesn't... What From what I read, there aren't exact instructions on it. On how to, you know, put them together that way. I guess you just can go by what you think. I'm going to line them up at the top and then let the bottom be like that. Again, line it up at the top and then the bottom. I don't know if that's the way it's supposed to go or not, but that's the way I'm doing it. This says Deck the Halls. That's pretty cool. Um, I don't know what kind of picture I, I'm going to put on here. No clue. What kind of picture would you put on here that's something that says Deck the Halls? So it's going to go down like right about here. And again, I don't know if this is the exact way you're supposed to put these together. In the picture, it doesn't look like it. In the picture, it looks like they're all the same size, but whatever. Whatever, guys. <laughs> I'm just doing it how I want. I'm going to stick that there and this here. That. Use this art glitter glue. And I'm going to stick this right here. I'm going to put this right here. And this sucker I'm going to put up on some foam tape. Like this. Foam tape. I think tonight I'm going to go do, do some more challenges over at a cherry on top. It's the first day in November. Okay, right here goes an ornament. And it is... I have a piece of white for journaling. Oh great, I have two pieces. It's not helpful when they give you give me too many pieces. I don't know which goes which. Who cares? Um I got this. Behind it is a light green. Behind that is a darker green. And that goes like that. And that's where my journaling will go. And then they drew a line. So, let's go ahead and stick that down. I love these kits. I really do. Especially if I, I've said this before, if I don't have any mojo or whatever. I super love these kits. Sometimes when they're the bigger kits, like you have a hard time figuring out like what I'm doing right now. And I just kind of have to talk myself through it. So this is going to go down right here. So I'm just, oops, that's not good. Sorry guys, I'm knocking embellishments on the floor. Which is very bad for when I go to do the other side. 
okay and again just putting the embellishments on, or the glue on one side because I'm gonna put that photo down eventually um geez. okay and so then there was a line I got a pin somewhere they drew a line that and then there's this little bow that goes on there like that there's two bows are they the same size I think they're the same size this little bow goes on there like so then I have these ones that kind of come under here like this It appears that there's two of them that stick up underneath this area. Like so. It's pretty nice. I'm going to try and keep them together how I have them. And just stick some glue on there. Then I'm going to stick them back under there. Um, on theirs, they do not have their tags finished, and that's kind of giving me a little bit of hyperventilation going on, but I'm going to leave it that way. We do, and, um, we are supposed to embellish with some email knots, so we got to come over here. Then we have this one, we already did that one. Then there's one that goes right here. And this will lay flat when I get my photo on there. Yeah, I think that's all we, we do. Um, you think we have to um, add a little bit of shimmer some places? I don't know. Should we shimmer this up? I love these shimmer pins, guys. Um, I ordered a sapphire. I ordered a red. I got my red in. I don't know if I got my sapphire in, but I'm going to have to share that with you. I'm going to have to do a haul so you guys can see them. I know my red came in, but I don't know about the sapphire yet. Love these pins. Just adding a little extra something. Let's go ahead and put some right here on this flower too. Because why not? It's not going to hurt anything. Yeah, that's it. I can't wait till I get a picture or figure out what picture I want on here. Um, if I figure it out within the next couple days, I'll come back and show it to you. But this is layout number one now remember this is a two page project but i am only going to be doing it as a one page project because i think they can stand alone and the one where they're trimming the tree i really want to use that for my own tree pictures this year yeah see so i just totally ripped right up off there add a little extra these are those American Crafts stickers. Um, American Crafts is not known for its adhesive. It's not known for having good adhesive on the backs of their stickers. So I'm just put, gonna put a little dollop on my hand like this, and we'll just go dab, 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 dab. So and. Put it back down. This isn't going to go into an album immediately, obviously. So if more of these start coming up, I'll just put them back down with some more glue. All right, guys. I want to thank you so much for joining me. And if you want this, this is the Holly Jolly Workshop Kit. And again, I did have problems with these alphas. You can see the alphas are different. But 
almost all of us scrapbookers have black alphas in our stash so you can easily just fill that in with your own i think on the next workshop kick i have that does have the small alphas i think i'm just gonna not even try i'm just gonna get my own alphas out and use those without even trying because it just takes up too much time yeah um again this is a holly jolly workshop kit if you're interested in uh, purchasing it my link is down below i am a close to my heart consultant and i will have a prize at the end of december for people who ordered and then in november i did have a prize for all the customers that ordered and in fact um it was such a good month i end up having three prizes so yeah um this is december and, or no, this is for November. And it's the first project. I'll see you guys next time because I am flabbergasted. Bye guys.